Look at him right there. Oh, God. Oh, man. No. All right, Fishaholic fam, welcome back to another episode. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're a first time viewer, uh, my name is Rich and thank you for tuning in today. If uh, you end up enjoying this video and you wanna stick around uh, for a little bit longer and know when I post uh, future videos, just hit that little subscribe button, like this video to help out with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, what we're doing today is uh, we're out here on the Indian River Lagoon to start right now. And I'm gonna go up ahead here and uh, actually beach the kayak in a rocky spot and see if I can get some crabs uh, because we're coming up on low tide in about an hour or two and if we get some crabs maybe we can catch some sheep's head today and our primary goal though is to also fish up in this creek for some snook tarpon jack creval so after we get some crabs I'm also going to try and see if we can get some mullets so uh, let's get this day going it's about 8 30 a.m. I'm going to probably fish all day and do whatever it takes to uh, get on a good bite today so stay tuned. All right, hopefully there'll be some crabs under some of these rocks here. Oh, there's some good ones. If I can get a couple dozen little crabs, we'll be doing good. Oh, ho, ho. right under this big rock, there's gotta be a bunch of crabs. Oh, look at that. Good one right there. All right, well, I think I have like a dozen or 15 perfect little sheep's head crabs. So I'm gonna just throw them in the cooler here. And I think we're gonna go try and get some mullet now. All right, so I'm up in the creek now. There's been a lot more mullet up in here than out on the main uh, Indian River Lagoon. Whoa, right there, you see that waking right there? That is a big school of Jack Creval. Oh, that is so cool. Saw some decent mullet right there. All right, got one good size one there. All right, got a few more on that last toss, all in various sizes, which is perfect. These are all primo baits. All right, put the cast net away. Since we got five decent baits and uh, it seems like I kind of spooked this area a little bit, so I'm not seeing a whole lot of bait in shallow, we'll uh, go out and start fishing. We got some jacks cruising right here. Let's see if they eat. Oh, oh, look, they're looking at them. Come on, eat them, eat them. They might not be big enough to eat this mullet. Oh, check this out. This manatee is coming right up to the kayak. Got a lot more fish there. Oh, there we go. Oh, they're destroying my mullet. I think we got them. These fish don't look too big, so I'm going to let them eat it for a good while before coming tight on them. Let's check my drag too. There he is. Oh, there he goes. Oh, man. I lost them right there. All right, let's try this again. There's, it's amazing how many Jack Creval are up here right now. That school right there just seemed to spook, but 
maybe I threw it too close to them. Well, the jacks seem to be getting a little more finicky, but I've got some snook sitting right in here. I'm gonna try tail hooking this mullet now and pitching them in there. Dang, that was a shame I spooked those snook. But this mullet really isn't that lively. You know, when I threw him in there, he was only kind of like twitching a little bit. I bet you if he was a little more lively, maybe the snook would have been a little more enticed. Wow, just look at all these Jack Creval. This is amazing. There's gotta be thousands up here. Whoa, there we go. Ah, I lost them. So I'm thinking a lot of the baits that I have are a little too big for uh, some of these jacks that are here. So let's try the spook for a couple casts. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, look at that. They followed it all the way back to the kayak. All right, I took like a dozen more casts and no other activity on the spook. So let's go back to the live bait. So for my next attempt to try and catch some fish today, I'm gonna pull away from the schools of jacks. I'll probably try to catch them later, but I wanna try just working the first drop off the bank of the creek here. Oh, massive school of jacks right here behind me. Look at them all. Yeah, they're all probably like six to eight pounders. The one I lost earlier, I think was a little bigger maybe like 10, 15 pounds. Oh man, just hooked a monster here. I turned the camera off for a second to have some lunch or a little snack. And this monster snook busted on my mullet. I only got 30 pound floral leader, so I'm playing them extremely light. Luckily, uh, we got the bite right off this uh, little rock wall. And as far as I know, there's no structure underwater that this fish can rub me on and break me off. I'm so bummed that I missed the hook set because this fish just nailed the mullet and just absolutely erupted. Right. 
here's this big girl. Oh, 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 no, no, take it easy. Take it easy. This might be a 40 inch fish. I'm using real light leader because the water is fairly clear up in here, although we've had a lot of rain and I'd rather just get the bites than not get them at all. There we go. That's a nice big snook right there. Oh, look at the size of that mouth. Whew. And we got a perfect hook set in her right in the corner of the mouth. And that's why with only 30 pound fluoro, she didn't cut us off. Let's get a quick measure on her. And this thick snook right here, there's the zero. She is only about probably like 37 inches because that's 35 right there. I thought she was going to be a lot bigger. And that's just because of how thick she is. Oh, she's like ready to go. See you later, bud. Sweet. That was awesome. All right. Let's, uh, let's finish our snack before we start fishing again. My stomach was growling like crazy, and uh, we did two drifts along this uh, uh, creek bank here, and on the second one, right out from those rocks, if you saw that clip where it looked like I got snagged on the rocks for like a brief second. So I started recording because it looked like something chased the bait into the rocks there, and I thought I was gonna get snagged, but then I, I pulled it, the mullet came free, and uh, it didn't really look like there was any fish there still looking at my bait so I stopped recording and then I, I'm pretty sure I pressed it real quick again but sometimes when you do do that with the GoPro it doesn't start recording and uh, as you can imagine I'm just pe trying to pay attention to the bait the camera and I'm just all excited and I'm like oh my god oh my god like it looks like something and it looks like something's gonna hit it and then all of a sudden it was like boom like this big explosion and uh, I let that fish eat the bait for like five ten seconds and it swam out away from shore and like right under the kayak which was cool so i just reeled up the slack and then just waited for him to go out again and uh, came tight on him and uh, that was an epic fight uh, from that fish unfortunately i'm gonna have it you know cut up a lot because of how i captured it with the camera and that's why sometimes when i'm out here like i don't like to uh, distract my mind in any way and that could be you know even if i have to go to the bathroom i'm holding it or if i'm starving i'm trying to to, to hold off on eating until uh, I catch a, a nice fish because uh, it seems like just when you're you know, not paying attention, that's when those big fish know. And you know, it, you know, if, if that's our only big fish of the day, and say like we missed it, it it's going to be a bummer. But luckily, we got them, so I'm pretty happy now. But let's get on another bait. I'll probably have to put on a fresh 30 pound fluoro leader, and uh, we'll see if we can do it again. This bait's about the same size as that last one. So I would say that this is probably like a 10 inch mullet. All right, well, I got some bad news and a little update for you. So it's been like three hours now since that first snook and I've been fishing my tail off, but only could get one more snook bite and it was a real small one trying to eat the big mullet and uh, eventually I fished through all my baits that I had and I just spent like the last hour trying to catch more bait and all I could catch were uh, like three or four or more finger mullets that are like four to six inches. But don't forget, I also have the crabs and uh, while I was trying to catch more bait, I did catch a sheep's head in the cast net. So what I wanna do is try uh, uh, kayaking up to these rocks and I think I'm gonna tie up there and then get out and uh, possibly just walk along the rocks and see if we can sight fish some sheep's head that are cruising along feeding on the rocks 
and I would stay in the kayak and do it, but I think we'll have a really uh, uh, you know, high point of view uh, from up on top of those rocks, and it'll make it a lot easier to uh, spot the fish and catch them. So uh, yeah, let's pull up on the rocks. All right, this she'll do right here. All right, so right here I see a sheep's head. So I thread it on a little crab. Let's throw them out there. I have no weight on this because I just want it to naturally drift down into the sheep's head's view. And it's only like a foot of water that they're in feeding along these rocks. So if I put a sinker on here, then it would probably just get caught in the rocks. Oh, he's looking at it, he's looking at it. He is looking at it. He's, he got spooked for a second. Now he's going back. Oh, he just ate it, he just ate it. I'm pretty sure. There he is, got him. Sight fished sheep's head. Nice. That's a keeper. If we were going to be keeping some, circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. It's very hard for sheep's head to resist a fresh little crab. Sweet. All right, let's grab another little bait. Oh, look at that. This guy is done. Got another sheep cruising to the right here. He's not a big one, but big enough. Oh, and he swam right by the crab. Got two more right here to the left, going the same direction. One of them looks a little bit bigger. Come on, eat, eat, eat the crab, eat the crab. He's looking at it, He's, they're both looking at it. They're both looking at it. Oh, and they, they just kept swimming. That's crazy. They're turning down the crabs. All right, we're back at the kayak. I could only get the one. I did have another one that ate and stripped the bait off the hook, but I probably cast into like at least a dozen other sheep's head, but for whatever reason, they uh, did not eat. still have a couple crabs left so yeah, if I see some more sheep's head out there then I'll try and catch a few more oh my gosh look at that that's insane I was just holding my mullet next to the kayak and a jack tried to eat him right there Look at that, there's a jack waking right there. Oh gosh, I spooked a whole school of them, but maybe they'll still eat. Yep, there we go, he got it. I lost them. All right, and that right there is how you lose fish. <laughs> I thought I pushed the line over onto the line roller, but evidently not. So when I tried to come tight on that jack, uh, it just pulled the bale back open. So the fish felt a little bit of tension and I didn't have enough tension to penetrate the hook. So that fish shook the bait and the hook uh, out of its mouth and we lost them. 
you know, so that's sometimes the way it goes, but at least we got uh, some more cool uh, <laughs> top water explosions. Uh, today, we really have been on a roll of, of not catching the jacks today, but hey, at least, uh, you know, we, got, we saw the most exciting part of it, and, you know, instead of having to deal with them and get them in the kayak, or uh, I'm just saying that to make myself feel a little better, but uh, I think we're gonna kind of quit while we're ahead. We, we got the 37 inch here, got a sheep's head, and uh, if I'm being completely honest, it's been a grind out here. And yesterday I was actually bank fishing in this same stretch and I got a 41 inch snook. So I'm gonna switch it over and I wanna show you that clip. So uh, here it is, check it out. Just spotted a monster snook cruising along these rocks right here. Absolute monster. And got, they've got some more cruising a little bit further out from the structure. They look like two more monster fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh my God. I just got hammered by one of them. I don't know if I'll be able to get this fish. Oh, look at he's swimming right at me. He is swimming right at me and away from the structure. Oh my gosh. Giant fish here. Look at him right there. Oh God. Oh man, no. She just found out she's hooked. Oh no. This fish has me wrapped on this overhanging stick here. Oh, she came off. She came off. Thank God. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this is a giant fish. I can see the circle hook right in the corner of the mouth and she's barely hooked. She's not done yet. Oh, look at that submarine right there. Oh. Gosh, I gotta tire her out a lot because of the 30 pound floral leader. Oh no, no, no. Oh God. Oh gosh. The leader's right in her mouth right now. Oh gosh. For a sec there, I thought it just was about to break. Come on, come on. Oh, I got her. Woo! What an absolute dinosaur right there. All right, so I walked the fish down to a spot where I could lay her flat, stretch the tape, and we'll get an accurate measure on this girl.
So according to this Rapala tape, pinching the tail, she is a little shy of 41 inches there. What a stud. Now let's get a nice revival on this big fish. We'll take this bottle of water home with us. It's not mine, but we can take it out of the water. And hopefully this big girl swims off strong. There she goes. All right, well, I guess that's gonna be a wrap for this video. That was a pretty sweet catch yesterday. I wish we had something like that today and uh, or just caught the strike and the entire fight on camera uh, with that 37 incher because that was just absolutely mental. Probably even crazier of an explosion and the first eruption once I hooked uh, that 37 incher versus the 41, but both fights were still really epic and uh, you know we'll have to come back out here and uh, maybe we can get even bigger and uh, get some more fishy action for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching and like always live to fish fish to live